Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah, Associate Professor at Vikas College of Physiotherapy and in this video I am going to show you how to apply crepe bandage for ankle sprain. Now my dear friends we know that most of the time when patient comes with you with the complaints of ankle sprain they have this inversion kind of injury most of the time, pa time patient walks or uh, during uh, stair climbing or going down the stairs they twist their ankle in this pattern and because of that the ligament which is present on the lateral side are more affected in compared to the ligament which is present in the medial side one more reason over here is that medial side ligament which is deltoid ligament they, that is the strongest ligament of your body so getting injury in this ligament is also very less in compared to getting it on the lateral side so now let's learn how to apply crepe bandage if patient comes with the inversion ankle sprain. So for that we have to use this 8 to 10 centimeters length crepe bandage. If it is wider than this it will be little inappropriate so better you use 8 to 10 centimeters of crepe bandage. Now this crepe bandage basically is little bit of stretchable material but we have to make sure that when you are applying it we are not tying it too tight because our aim is to drain the drainage from the toes to the ankle. So we are going to start here from the ankle region. Okay. Now here which direction you have to start that you have to understand here that always you can remember easily that you have to start in such a way that this roll moves towards the opposite side of leg. Okay. So let's say this, this way I am doing it. So it is moving towards the opposite side. Okay. So that is how I am going to start. I am just going to take one or two circles over here. So let's say this is a kind of anchor we are preparing over here for the further process of the grape bandaging. Once the two circles are taken, my anchor is already prepared. Then I am going to take it towards the anchor. Now as you can see what I am doing here is that I am trying to pull this anchor towards the eversion. Why inversion? Because we want to make sure that it is not going for the further inversion so that it is going to damage the ligament which is present on the lateral side. So that is why we are bringing it towards the eversion and that is a correct way of doing it. Now yes, now here comes the magic of figure of 8. I am just wrapping it around and bringing it again over and then Again, I am bringing it down. Now here one thing which is most important that we have to take care is we have to make sure that you will be seeing see this is a line which is given in the exactly half of the crepe bandage. So we have to make sure that when you are wrapping it for the second round at least you are covering the half of the crepe bandage. So this is how you are covering the half of the crepe bandage. Again bringing it up and continuing with the figure of 8 again doing it make sure that you are not doing it very tight okay if patient complains of pain because of the tightness you should remove the crepe bandage and make sure again that on the anchor side it is little loose because as I explained earlier also that we have to make sure that drainage is able to go in the above direction because we obviously we cannot remove the drainage from the toes so as you can see I am making sure that I am tying it from the half of the way so that this red line is not visible. That is the main purpose of giving this red line over this crepe bandage so that we know that you are covering the half of the crepe bandage. Once you have wrapped it properly, okay, so make sure that it doesn't end on the downside like this, okay, if it is ending on the downside. You can just take uh, one more uh, like wrap like this and you can end it over the above direction and you can clip it with the help of clippers. Make sure that also is not damaging or uh, hurting patient while you are applying it. Okay, So here my uh, ankle bandaging for ankle sprain for the lateral side is completed. If you uh, have a look at it, this looks something like this. So you can see the design of coming over overlapping the uh, areas of crepe bandage. It will look something like this. As you can see nowhere else you can see this red lining. Okay, It is only present on the last rep which I did. That means that I have accurately taken the measure and covered the half of the crepe bandage. 
So if your crepe bandaging looks something like this, patient is comfortable, that is a perfect one for the crepe bandaging of the ankle sprain. I really hope that you all understood how to wrap crepe bandage around the ankle for ankle sprain. Still, if you have any doubts about it, do let me know in the comment section and also share it with your friends so that they also are aware about it. And don't forget to subscribe Physio Trends.